Last time you were here, you made a little news. You raised some eyebrows uh, uh, by what you said. And I want to play what you said, but I want to play it in the full context and have you um, talk about it give, it, give an updated version of it. Let me. This was about the election landscape. Is the House in jeopardy, the majority for the Democrats in the House in jeopardy? I, I, I think there are no doubt that there are a lot of seats that will be up, uh, a lot of contested seats. Uh, I think uh, people are going to have a choice to make in the fall. Um, but I, I think there's no doubt there are enough seats in play uh, that could cause Republicans to gain control. There's no doubt about that. You also went on to say that there's, it will depend on how strong the campaigns are by Democrats. First of all, how, what, how do you see the landscape now? Well, again, I, it's a, there's no question it is a tough and challenging political environment. Uh, we're the beneficiary of uh, a lot of political real estate after 2006 and 2008 that haven't been held by Dem Democrats for a, a long period of time. Uh, but, look, I, I think that campaigns uh, in this uh, cycle are being run on a lot of local issues uh, and issues that are important not nationally, but to individual states and independent, independent, uh, individual congressional districts. Uh, I think our candidates uh, have done a remarkably good job in a tough political environment. Uh, and I think that uh, come election night, we'll retain control of both the House and the Senate. You believe that? I do believe that. What's different now as opposed to then? Well, again, uh, I, I think right now you see an electorate by Democrats that is actually more engaged. Uh, you mentioned uh, the president out on the trail. He's joined today by uh, a very popular first lady in, a, in an important state like Ohio. Uh, 20,000 people signed up on Deval Patrick's website for the event that we had yesterday, 26,000 people in Wisconsin. There's an excitement about what this president is trying to do. There's an energy around it. Uh, and we're seeing that in shrinking generic congressional ballots, and we're seeing that in uh, a shrinking enthusiasm gap. The